All right, what's going on guys? Bruce from Portavo here. Today we are at Family Industries. Is this downtown LA? Chinatown, Los Angeles? Anyway, we're finally here. We made it. It's nice and early in the morning. It's beautiful out. It's California, best weather ever. And of course, come bearing gifts. This message is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. All right, we're gonna go check it out. Hello, what's up? Wait, which one's Phil? Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Hey, Phil. Have you seen Beetlejuice? Alright. Damn, man. What? Yo! How you doing, man? I got the whole game here. Yeah, yeah. This is dope. Oh, big Craig. Craig, Nice to meet you, dude. Hey, we appreciate it. Adam. Adam. Good to see you again. Nice to meet you. It's been a local. The showroom, we redid like all that. We like this spot was like an old Chinese kitchen warehouse, and it used to be like carpeted with like these like weird interrogation rooms. <laughs> so we like knocked down walls. So we're probably moving from here in about November because we're building our new location. Oh, the one you bought? Yeah, so we're finishing that up right now. That's uh, awesome. It's getting all like the second, second uh, level roofing and framing going on. How's right that now. been going? It's good. Yeah. It got delayed a little bit because the trusses from the company that we're building them were like a little slow, but everything else is done. Wow. So. Buying a place, let alone, is a big ordeal, let yeah. alone, I feel like, in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. I, what's, like, the thought behind it? Just having your own location so you're not paying rent to a landlord because you can get an, an LLC. Yeah. You basically pay rent to yourself, but then there's, like, a tax write-off that you can do because you're paying rent to yourself and then go back. Um, and then also real estate. You know, Got it. That's the, that's the goal. Build like, some you equity. You more buildings just in general. Uh, this is cool. I like yeah, the so how like you decorated awesome. it, though. Yeah, so it's like a, we used to do all of Alternative Apparel's like main like showroom stuff, so they'd send people down here. But it's kind of changed up since things took over. It's not as, it's a little different these days. So we do all the, the they're looking at the posters right now. So we do a bunch of flat stocks. Um, you guys print so. posters here? Yeah, I'll show you the, the oh, posters sweet. upstairs. Yeah. Um, so lots of flat stock. All of the the stuff we show people, and you know we have about five styles that we will sell, but. Here's your here's your fitness Friday challenge right here. <laughs> That's the gym. Is this where everybody gets pissed off when you yeah. print it on the right Coming side? Coming during lunch and it's a little messy dirty in here because this room doesn't get clean. Nice. Uh, we both, we have a new gym going to be going in the other spot for rower. Couple really? Of That's yeah. awesome, dude. So every day lunch when people come in and on break or after work or before work and use yeah. stuff. Yeah. Heck yeah. Like, I'm, like, it's definitely, if it's necessary. This is Danny and Ryan. We're both on the live stream. What's up, guys? Ryan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice oh, you nice work for Pintado. Awesome. Yeah. Speaking of which. You got that up there, too. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. So this the, is all the live stuff set up? This setup? is the live gear going in and out. Um, we're oh, doing uh, uh, stuff for DevOps conference up in San Francisco today, and then we're doing Little League World Series for like the next like 15 days. We're doing pins for T-Mobile, so get like they get to customize their name, number, region that they're playing from, or like wow. anybody can go in. Um, that's like 15,000 pins or something crazy like that. Holy cow! So if you guys didn't know, Max, the live printing king, can we say that? He does over 400 events every single year. He's at the Print House West Conf, which you guys can watch his talk on how to get started in live printing too. But that's why you see all of this really cool. I'm looking like, are these like touring? Yeah, so basically, cases, cause, cases. Used to play, they used to play music, so it's kind of like get road cases that work kind of similar way as, as amps, like in a road case. Uh -huh. So this one transforms to like, you could take a top off and it like a press will come out and then it sits on top of the press and you can, you know, brand the outside of the wow. front so that it's all you know one cohesive unit so each um, skid is one event that's going on yeah basically and then so sometimes we'll just set we'll just wrap a pallet and then we'll we'll send these because these can just go on a truck if we need to send them out on a truck you know large format printers for like events when we do posters um, the new building will have a much bigger library this is like it's crazy because half of our business is contained within this space right here that's nuts yeah so it's like goes in and out and you know stuff's always changing as far as like where it is and what position it is. Dude that's now. crazy the scale half yeah. your business 
Um, so is that what you're trying to feel like you're focusing more on? Just how do we double down on live? Or? That's that's kind of where I am, like with the business development side. This side is like still we still grow this side too, oh, but my focus is more on that and the development of that business. So just the regular, you know, double two autos. We're getting two brand new autos. So what we're gonna do is gonna have them installed in a new location, all brand new screen room, uh, brand new autos. Those are gonna be dropped in to the location and then we're gonna move everybody over there. Probably gonna like donate some of the ink and kind of start fresh with uh, new inks and stuff like that. Got it. Yeah, you guys are packed in. Thank you, the Duncan. No taggers, that kind of stuff. So we shared this building with the guy who does like neon signs and signage. So he has that half of the building over. And when we moved over here, we were both in the building that was like next door across the way. Uh, and we were kind of sick of the landlord that was over there. We were both like, oh cool, let's move it to it. So when we moved in here, we're like, oh, we have so much space. Like, we'll never run out of space here. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. People always say when yeah. we visit shops, it's the space. Yeah. And the number of stations at the press and the arms, they're yeah. always like, I wish we had more. But this building is retrofitted with earthquake stuff. Like some, I mean, the, this, this place is like super old. It used to be a train, like a train depot warehouse. So like we had to set, nobody sets up a, pre, like the shop just doesn't make, like it's right. going halfway through. You're just diamond. working with what you can do. Yeah, so that's kind of where we are. And then right the now. dark room's upstairs in? Uh, that's where all the screens are, and then the dark room is, uh, is downstairs. Whoa! Hey first, on, first couple days of school. Oh, thanks for the iPad. Oh no, yeah. they're, for the, they're for the shots. Nice. Um, see our little TV up there? Very cool. So we do pretty pretty good just like it's pretty consistent with this this side of the business. So these are pretty much running full shifts. We don't do double shifts or anything, but these are constantly How many days a week do you guys? Five days a week. So they're here at seven thirty and they leave at four every day, but it's you know, there's sometimes we gotta grind a little bit more and some days where you know, they get to go. Have you thought about double shifts or no? You uh, just don't want to manage it, is, it. But then you have to kind of like get a new production manager and then other yeah. and stuff. But we have thought about it at some point kind of opening that up. Yeah, we just did a bunch of other videos too. Everybody's in the same boat. They don't want to manage a second shift like that and have to worry you about it. You never know. Like, the night shifts from what, just like it's completely different set of people. Right. You aren't able to kind of watch over as much. Uh, so we have some of our, our DTG and uh, some of our other gear is at the other location right now. So even though we're doing construction over there, we have a couple of rooms over there, rotary samples here, um, and then production over there. We have DTGs at the other location. So we do like drop shipping for some clients and whatnot, but that, that has an air conditioned room over there. There's no air conditioning. Uh, so that one is You like, said just samples. You only run, or you just run low quantities? Yeah, low quantity samples okay, there. Okay. And the production's done at the, another location. Um, so That's at the new one? Or? Yeah, exactly. Did you have to buy just more heads then? Or? Yeah. Uh, and then some finishing. Uh, have you guys always done embroidery in house? Uh, not always. Um, these ones are our testers, like kind of Evis Field style. Wow. Uh, so we're cool. like getting these, we're gonna get those. I think these ones are actually damages. So I don't know you want to show those. <laughs> uh -huh. What was your thoughts on getting into embroidery? Um, just, you know, for, for some of the stuff. This is Joe, our, our post What's up, Joe? Bruce, 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 Bruce. Oh, okay. This is Steve. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Uh, just because you have some clients who need it, I don't want it to be our specialty because if you need like really, really big quantities, we have partners that we can work with that outsource like way, 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 way more. So some of our fulfillment is here, some of it's over there. Ah! That's awesome, <laughs> Pauly D. Yeah. So we run this fulfillment store. <laughs> That's awesome. So what does he use? Shopify or something? Um, yeah, Shopify, and then it links up with uh, with everything on our back end. That's really cool. Yeah. We don't do DTG runs for for him. Hey, anyway. Alex, I met you. Oh yeah, oh, Alex. Right. Come on, man. It's because I it's because the hat, right? That's right. So I'm just a bald head to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Max started yeah, Family Industries right started. after yeah, you guys yeah, were yeah, laid yeah. off. From yeah, so we had started the the business and we were just doing it on the side, yeah. and then. It, December 2009, right. my boss, because I was just, I was so into it on the side, my boss eventually was like, you gotta fucking go, man. He's like, I'll give you 
a month pay, but you got to go do that instead of being really. Yeah, it's kind of like he's so. Like, it wasn't really laid off then. I mean, it was like in a way, but it was kind of like a kick in the ass. Like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this here. Like, he didn't want me focusing on family industries while I was working at the biz at his company. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But at the same time, he's like, hey, look, I think you should go do yeah, it. Yeah, give you a little seed like money. Nice, like, kick. Exactly. Some posters, um, digitals. Uh, so what, what was the decision behind posters? We just been doing posters market, for a long time. We just a long, long time. Lots of band posters. Okay. Um, lots of everything, you know. Just we get a lot of, of people coming through. Uh, and then over there is the poster print station. So we're gonna get a new auto for the other space. We had one here, mm -hmm. but it was a little older and broke down. So we've just been doing uh, hand printed runs. Um, but this pretty much consistently moving as well. Um, I've never seen you like this. So basically, you just lay it down and attach the screen. Yeah, here squeegee and here. And pull and the it screen all. The screen set up, and it's single color. So you pull it, and then you draw one onto the the rack. Can this only do one color, or is it? You can do multiple colors, but it has to be they need to dry in between each color. So oh. for instance, that one, you would lay down the pink, the yellow, the red, the green, and then you would do the black on top. I got you. And then um, how do you dry it? Or is there a It's just air dry because it's all oh, okay. water based ink. Yeah. Gotcha. And then half these inks aren't even real. They shot a Microsoft Surface commercial here. Really? So, so they just did this fake wall. So mo these are all real inks, but like the rest of it, it's all fake. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, so did you like live print for them? And then they're like, hey, they had a guy, we? this guy right here. I think it was that guy, Jordan. Um, we printed a lot of his runs and then like they wanted to do a, a commercial about him. And he's like, oh, cool, let's do a family industry so we can do a, like a poster yeah. run. So they did like shooting up here with our guys during the day. And, and then, so to set up the set, they did they build this? So they built this wall. This is all our, the TW is what we use okay. for our inks, but the rest of this is all false, false inks. So he just filled it up. And just dyed it yep. or whatever. And Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're in a Hollywood set. Yeah. This used to be where Alex and I had our office for a long time. Show them the, the, the first, the first, uh, first last line we ever printed. Which one? The Be, be Brave. Oh. This is all. That was solid Wow, this is your very first one? Yeah. Holy cow, for vinyl. For this vinyl. is when we laid everything on the ground. Yep. And it was like, luckily we didn't have an open flame because we probably would have blown the warehouse up. Because <laughs> it was all 5,500. So we used to sit up here and then we'd be able to like watch down and then during the summer it gets some hot. Yeah. Right around three o'clock we couldn't really like function. It's it was just too like, hot. Yeah, it's so hot, so brutal. And you said the new facility has air? Yes. Yeah. These are all special cuts uh, for a bunch of nine inch nails. There's no printed here, I have some downstairs looking shady, but we did a bunch of nine inch nails posters last year for, for different tours. Here's going on and they did like all these specialty coil and other other things as well. Not much over here. This is just kind of like backup warehousing space. Um, kind of messy in here right now, actually. But this is where we used to have a music room in here, so we'd come play like that drums or anything set up. But we needed space, so that stuff's all relegated to the corner. Uh, banners <laughs> and large format stuff, and then just like overflow. We're gonna get rid of so much stuff when we. When oh, you can still do mugs if you want. Yeah, we'll do mugs on site. Oh, cool. oh yeah. are you really? You do Insta mugs. Yeah, sublimation. Insta mugs. <laughs> The, the stories of always coming from music into screen print. I know, it's so weird, however. And like, Brett from Printer Threads, we were on the same record label. Like, he was on a band. <laughs> really? So you knew who before? <laughs> is this how you privately this is text message? Right here. It was totally there, <laughs> <laughs> this is also backup stock and test. We do, we have a lot of the economy stuff for like, uh, coastal business like sublimation supplies here okay. so we need to run tests for clients like they want to get like like we for an manner phone cases like t-mobile has this one that we're going to be doing mlb t-mobile does this tie into shopify store no yes you built a custom app though yeah we really? built yeah I'll, i i want to show you it this the thing that we did with this was mm -hmm. It was working, sure. but their back end is not as responsive as say like Printavo and mm -hmm. and uh, Zapier. Super fast, super fast, super fast. Mm -hmm. This one sometimes would be like two hours a day. Sometimes I had to wait for my updates, and it just didn't work. So like, it just it just didn't work. But what we learned from it was, I mean, I, it was great. This is some kind of like examples of like things outside the box of like just live printing. So this is a movie plot poster for Stella. 
and basically what they want to do is have people customize 18 by 24 posters and I think I have a finished product up there. They wanted you to be able to pick between these different plots of the movies. Holy cow. This is all fully clickable and customizable. Yeah. So then you come through here and you have like pick your genre of the movie that like you're creating for this wow. stellar poster. Yeah. And you can add in your movie title, blah 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 blah. That comes out here, you want script and light, bold and strong. And then it would send you an email of the poster and then we would print out a large format version of it. Which would be like this. So they'd get it in about a minute. So it's a digital, po a digital uh, poster. They could roll it up and they give it to them. Yeah, that's oh, that super awesome. cool. So what was the inspiration behind creating the app? And so they wanted something like that. They wanted to do custom posters on site. And they, what they were like, what if we did uh, people could, people could come color in their thing and then you could do custom like tra custom transfers or something weird that was like not there. And I was like, what if we do it this way? So I kind of guided them into this like whole app. On the Stella one? No, that, it, it, he so, showed me He showed me that one. I was like, yo, that's sick. Yeah. So we kind of like guided them yeah, into that. Right. I was like, look, if we do this and we let people click and go through it versus like trying to color in things and like add your title and whatnot. So do you guys work with a firm that... Yeah, we have, a, we have a company that we like, we do so many different apps of a month. Um, and we're developing a, uh, like a version 2.0 because we've run through this one so much that like we don't want we want it to be able to customize on any. And any then you guys kind of tell them, okay, here's the screens I need, like this customization and this yep. one. Yep. So we get all like we set it up and like how it's going to be laid out, and then they, we can customize the different portions. But this is just one example. So this is a completely custom app. Um, and that's for one live printing. Event. One live printing event for that one. Um, here, let's do this here. Um, and so we want to get away from these tablets because they're a little bit older, but we like the big screen on them. Yeah, this um, is great. There's a lot of companies who use like, just like uh, Microsoft computers and they'll hook it into like a touch screen, which is cool. YR uses it. I love YR stuff. Like they're like Tim, mm. like we talk every, you know, probably like once a month just to kind of catch up. And he's got really cool. Apps. Yeah, I love, I got to meet them. I, they do a lot of really cool stuff. Their, their in-store stuff is like really where it's at. Um, so we gotta change this up a little bit. We just did Outside Lands. We did merch customization for Outside Lands Festival. Mm -hmm. And then we did the Toyota outside gear. So the Toyota will like, we'll work with them to kind of set up their uh, their app. So you can customize your wallet. Yeah, just yeah you drag and drop different things. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this one does any bigger. Yeah. So you can layer it and clear the last image if you want. So they kind of help, like, they'll say, like, this is what we want to accomplish from it. And you can do your text if you want it. And then we, we adhered it onto, um, like, a badge wallet so you can keep all your stuff in it. That one will probably be changing a little bit. Uh, so we get so many of these last minute. So I found people have a hard time also hiring a firm to correct their bookies. Yeah. Did you guys get lucky with the first one or did yeah, you go we, through a Ryan couple? Ryan knew somebody and we just, we actually had some big, like the first round with them, mm -hmm. it was like completely the wrong direction. And we're like, we didn't get any of our input put into it. But then we said, okay, let's take a step back. Like some of the things were in place and then like let's re move forward with it and they've been on it ever since like it's been really is it really cool. is it like you planning it really well in detail ahead of time or what do you think yeah so we better? we set up a moderation tool so like all of this goes to a back end which any of our team can go into on site mm -hmm. That's amazing. Wait, so where do you feel like all this is going? I mean, you guys are already way ahead of the majority of live printing experiences. Um, I think it's just going to get more customized. Even like, even more so than like, people hit us up all the time and are like, can you customize these items inside? Can you do this specific thing? Can you do, can you make it happen like this? And it's like, you kind of want to direct them in a direction that like makes sense of what you can customize. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's not easy to do it. This one, Adam has been setting up with Lulu. And this is actually going live tomorrow oh, wow. and this is in Vancouver <laughs> so it's pretty funny it's Lululemon and it's about oh I haven't seen their campaign on Instagram so you basically what you do I don't know if this one is working on this tablet specifically because uh, it's broken so like some of the, the draw functions don't work but I'll just do this and then it's not even like live printing it's like it is very ex experiential but it's yeah. such a 
high level word sometimes it gets thrown around. Yeah, it's it, I mean it's such like a broad thing. So this is for which festival? This was for Lala. I think this was Lala. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing uh, Farrakh mentioned that you guys were there. So you go in. Or you choose your lineup. So here's the difference. Oh, this is Firefly actually. So but we did with the same thing at Lala. So here's here's all of here are all the bands that are playing at Lala. All right, I'm sorry, Firefly. So what you could do is you can come in in the morning and say, cool, I'm going to get, I want to see all the, here's my lineup that I want to go see. I want to go see the record company at 215. You know, I can go see Sweater Beats before that. Um, let's see, we got 3 o'clock, 215, I'm going to go see Dennis Lloyd until 3. Let's go see the new party here. Um, you know what, let's go see the Roost at 4. I want to take a break for a little bit. Um, let's go see Sales. Um, and then we got Cardi Barnett. Go unknown, unknown mortal orchestra, really? and then uh, let's go see uh, Kirk and Colors, right? Yeah. So that would then come out here. Whoa! And you get oh your lineup. Oh my gosh! And then you get this in a Prince out tattoo. Prince out tattoo, and then it was applied digitally to their arm. Dude, that's genius. Holy shit! So this was like for Toyota wants to get people in their in their vehicle. So what this was was in a tablet like this in a case connected to the steering wheel, and then on the driver on the you know, on the front side, so people would get in the car, because they want people to get in their vehicles, they want to like, have people experience sitting in the seat, like, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. So then they would get this done, print it up, and they get their tattoo, and they walk over to People would really appreciate that, yeah. like, a million. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, you know, one of those things that, I think that could be, like, that's the direction that I'm talking about with live printing. Ball. It's like, oh, it's more than just apparel, it's more than just like that. It's that's like, incredible. everything tangible that can be customized, and that's where it's like, you're like a customizable agency. Yeah, and that's kind of where we're going. Like the on-site customization agency is kind of like where we're Apparel's like, just a slice where we're, where I mean, this is there. incredible. Yeah. So there's different apps, and like the white label is great because if somebody wants us to go to an event in two weeks, and they want to do shirt, tote bags, bandana, mugs, anything like that, we can create that within that white label structure, and I can have ready to go in like, no joke, half an hour. Wow. I could build an app as long as I have the assets, test it, be ready to roll on it, um, and then have it on site deployed. These custom ones that involve a little bit more, that's when we work with a partner who you know, we can go back and forth with. We'll create the overall app look, the pages, you know, go through it, make sure everything looks right, do the testing back here, and then kind of go forward with it. So, yeah. All right, so it's very clear Family Industries is changing the live customization game. I can't <laughs> even call it live printing anymore. It's just a, a step above. So if you guys are in L.A., definitely make sure to stop by Family Industries or follow them at... Is it Family Industries L.A.? It's just Family Industries, yeah. yeah. Family Industries on Instagram. You can actually follow along all this really cool stuff as they go to all these neat events all over the world, really, right? Pretty or, much, yeah. So, anyway, this is incredible. 